Well, good morning, everyone. It's Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Well, folks, it's 7 a.m. in the morning here on the 15th of July, and we're going into town to pull some honey. This should be a quick video. Just going to shoot some quick time lapses, and that's about it. We got to go pull. Well, 19 boxes is what I counted. It's already a very humid day. Not very warm, though, so that's great. Uh, kind of cool in the shade, but the sun's coming up, so it should heat up quick. But we want to get started early. I got a friend coming, so we can get this done fast, so don't you worry. I shouldn't be dragging this out at all because I got help. Now, I wanted help for that yard over there. Uh, and that'll leave me about a dozen here at the house to get. So we're well on our way to wrapping this whole harvest up a little bit at a time. So since I've got help, we won't be using a hive lifter. Main reason I didn't want to drag out the hive lifter was the one stand doesn't have a clear path to and from the hive. So I decided just to see if I could get some help real quick and we could just pull them all off. And uh, the other stand, which actually has the most supers, does have a clear path. But, you know, if I needed help with the other ones, might as well just get it all done really quick. And when I've got help, I don't really use it. Again, my hive lifter, I know it's made for honey, honey uh, harvest, but I mainly bought it for um, moving double deeps because I do a lot of stuff by myself, as you can well see. And when I have to move double deeps around, I needed something. I wanted it for honey supers too, but I mainly wanted it for double deeps. So that's what I do with it. So when I can get help, I get help and we do it. Well, Dirk just arrived. He just showed up. We got a lot of our stuff. I got some honey supers I'm going to put on those two big, big, big hives because there seems to be something coming in over there in town. Not that I want the honey, but I want to give him somewhere to put it. Got all our stuff together. We're ready to go. Get his suit, and we're rolling. Try to get this done early. All right, guys, getting ready to go. Got Dirk spraying a fume board. Oh. Ah, that's a heavy. Get some lids. We'll stack them up here. And we'll get them rolling out the high. Got one uncapped. So I kind of think there's going to be a few out here like that. Two or three that aren't going to be ready. I moved them late. But look, I'm bringing in pollen. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing in pollen. Yellow pollen. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of it. them for a bit and that's it we got that stand I put two empty supers on this something I don't normally do but that colony is so loaded down with bees it was all we could do to get them fumed out so this is a 2020 queen she ought to be replaced sooner or later but I want to keep her stock so I want to be able to put her in a nuke and possibly keep her stock in the yard She's got a white dot on her. I don't want to lose her, so I was very careful trying to just really fume them all the way out. And I do want to give them a little bit of extra space. Something I don't normally do in the summer, but hey, you know, there is something going on here because they're just not that rob, robbing prone right now. They just seem to be a lot calmer than my other yard. So we give them, and that one wasn't capped, so I gave them that back because um, that's a very good queen too. Their numbers look down a little bit. Hopefully nothing happened to her, but we'll see. Uh, this is what we got now. We're going to go over here and get these last six or so and then we'll be done. 
Oh, that's why we left one on. What do you mean we left one on? We put that one that wasn't capped back on. Oh yeah, over there. Yeah. Miscounted. Put one back on. This is gonna be it. Get them stacked. Get them home. Got the bees. Yep. Blow it down. Try to push it there and blow it down. It ain't coming out too good. Open it up. Well, you guys fell down. Sorry about that. You know how it is. We're done. We're going to strap them down. So we're coming out of here with 18. That's good. Well, Dirk, what you think? Good to go. That's how he gives a thumbs up. I worked him the last two times. Chris saw a video that said that Dirk didn't work. Dirk worked this time. Last two times. He was wrong last video too. This was. Well, I appreciate everything he has done for me. It's been a blessing to get this done. We took a break for what? Ten minutes. So we still did this pretty quickly. Total time, an hour probably. That's sure a lot nicer when you got somebody helping you. So. Putting all my stuff away, gonna call it a day. Nothing else to really say. Pretty straightforward. You guys have seen it a million times. This is what we do. Fume them, blow them. I was going down on some in boxes in case there was a queen. So I really think number 15's queen was taken in my honey harvest. Which I'm always careful about that. So I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So what do you do? So I blew down on that bottom box. We had problems getting some bees out of some of them highly heavily populated, but Put two supers on the other one just to give them space in case they're still moving nectar around. Not because I'm worried about collecting it, but just because they're two very good colonies. One was uncapped, left a super on that one. That way they got space, and I think we're good to go, folks. So, we're going to go back, take it to the house. and still got a dozen more at the house I got to pull, but I'll do that another day. And we'll be good to go. I appreciate all y'all watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You don't mind, of course. And I hope all you guys have a great weekend. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later. Well, folks, we got them in the honey house, and uh, I'm gonna throw some drying fans on them. I'm not gonna extract them today. It, actually, it'd be great to extract them right now. It would really, really come out easy, but I just don't have the time uh, this afternoon. And then tomorrow, going to Mr. Ed's to help them. And I don't know what's uncapped and what's not. We just snatched everything except for one that we knew was just all uncapped. That's the only one we left out there. And it was one that was foundation put on way late in the flow. So there we go. Got to get all those out to the bees to clean and get these extracted. And then we got a dozen more here at the house and it's done.